Welcome to this new video of Large of the Jars. Today I'm going to start a series of videos about Quarkus. Quarkus is a Kubernetes native stack tolerated for GraalVM and OpenGDK, right? But also it's really nice because it integrates with a best breed of Java libraries like Camel, Microprofile, uh, Spec or Ibrahim. In this video, we're going to see how we can start working with Quarkus with just simple examples, but then in the next videos, you'll see more advanced use cases. Let's see it. Okay, let's see how we can uh, start a Quarkus project. In this case, I'm going to use a Maven archetype, which basically is just using the Quarkus Maven plugin with the create goal, you set the, the group ID, the artifact ID, the class name, which is the, let's say, the root class where all the resources are defined at, and then at the full path. I just run it. Then I can go to getting a started project, um, project or directory, I open an IDE, which is here. And then you see that in getting resource uh, class, there is a JAX-RS endpoint, just exposing a slash Agme with the hello. And also this project or this uh, archetype comes with a reading resource test, which starts a, Quark a Quarkus server and then run the test against this instance. So how we can run this, I can do a Maven, I think that it comes with Maven wrapper as well. So it's easy to run. So now it's compiling, it's going to run the test. You see that it's pretty fast for everything that you're doing. You'll see here that the Quarkus it's um, started pretty uh, uh, quick with just uh, one second and just three seconds for doing all this augmentation. And that's all. Now if I go to target, you can see that I can do Java minus jar. Getting started runner. And with just one second, I have here everything started. We can um, see this that it's working, for example, by um, using Insomnia. I can just go here and do a get in a slash Acme. And if I do a send, of course, you see here this a hello, right? And just one thing about uh, getting a started runner and is that um, Quarkus does not generate a Uber jar. So if you check here, you see that there is a jar, but there is also a lib directory. So if you want to distribute this application, you need to copy the jar, the runner jar file, but also the libs. If you check here libs, you see that there is all the libs required. So instead of creating a big jar file, you just, you know, use this approach, which I think that it's better. But at the end, it's yeah, personal taste. And again, let's um, open the IDE and we can, for example, do a um, modification. And this modification is that the meshes, instead of being an static meshes, let's put it in a, a configuration properties. By uh, default, this archetype generates an application.properties file where you can define the uh, configuration properties for your application. In this case, for example, we can use greetings.message equal, and we can say hello world. The only thing that I need to do in my um, resource to get this configuration parameter is just annotate um, config property annotation, which comes from microprofile configuration spec and said that the name is greetings dot message. And of course, oops, of course, this is in a string, which is, I don't know, the message input 
private. On that, I just need to go here and just instead of returning hello, of course, I need to return a message. Really easy, right? And then I just need to go here and do a Maven package. I'm going to skip the test because I've changed the return type. Okay. Now it's building again. And now I can go to target and do a minus Java minus jar. Getting a started runner. And if I do a send now, I'm getting the hello world from the configuration file. Really easy, not complicated at all. And you know, just ready to use. Of course, this is a simple example, but what's happening if, for example, I have a Pojo that I want to return back to the color in the JSON format. In this case, um, Quarkus comes with um, extensions. Basic extensions are jar files that are added in the class path to you know, make these kind of things. To see the available extension supported by Quarkus, you just need to do or just need to run maven quarkus list extensions and here is the list of all the supported extensions. In this case we're going to use the um, rest easy json b, this one. So I just need to copy this and then run Quarkus at extension minus the extensions and add this extension. This basically is effectively adding the defined dependency in the dependencies section. So it's not doing any kind of magic. So if you check here now, if you check in the POM, you'll see that now we've got this uh, Quarkus REST JSONB. So let's go to um, here and let's create a new file which we can call it beer, the Java and I can create a class called beer with a property called the name of the beer, which contains like a name and a set name. And well, even if we want, we can create, well, it doesn't matter. Then we go here and what we want to do is just return a beer. So the only thing that I need to go is put here a get to not having the same path, let's put it in a slash beer. This endpoint produces a media type um, JSON. And then I just need to uh, create a method which returns a beer, get beer, and I can just for now just create a beer. Then I set the name. And finally I can return this beer. But now we are going to do something um, different. And it's like, you've seen before that for every change that I've been doing, I was recompiling the application, creating a jar file, stopping the previous service and run it again. But Quarkus comes with a mode which is called depth mode, which is like a life reloading. So you don't need to start recompiling and repackaging all, of, all for all your changes this application. This can be done automatically. Notice that I can do Maven now, um, compile Quarkus 
Web. Now the first, the first time, yeah, of course, it's compiling and so on and so forth. But now I've got the application running and I can go to Insomnia again. Of course, it was in the Hello World, I get it as Hello World. But if you go to Agni slash beer, I have a JSON file containing the name Boldan. And now let's, uh, let's see how this um, live reloading works. This is Boldan, right? We can change it to another one. For example, I don't know, Alhambra, which is another really nice beer. And notice that I've saved the resource, but without recompiling anything, I do send. And now I have Alhambra. So I've not repackaged anything. I have not run any special script. I have not stopped the previous uh, Quarkus service and started again. I just make the change in the ID, I save the resources, and then everything is done automatically, which is, you know, pretty cool. Of course, if you want, we can even create a post for, you know, uh, storing um, a beer. So in this case, I'm going to do a post with path beer. This consumes a media type application JSON and now it let's say that it uh, responds it create returns a response and create beer we pass here the beer object that we want to create and basically we can do a sys out of um, beer dot get name and finally, we can just do a return response dot create it. Um, URI, well, this is a, we can just um, create a new one, which is one. This is the ID that we, if we had um, database, this probably will be the ID generated by the database. So any other, um, resource can get this information and then I do a build and that's all. Now I have a post method which prints the name and then just returns uh, created um, status code. So now I can come to uh, Insomnia and this is a JSON. I'm going to create here a new JSON, which is going to be name, and for example, uh, moon send, which is another one. And now I do a send. I've written a 201 created. If you check the headers, you see that uh, the connection, I mean, that all the information and the location is localhost 8080 slash one. And this one is this UV that I created here. And if we check here the, um, the log lines of the service, you see that I made a code replacement of, that took 0 0.7 seconds. And of course, the system out that we've printed, it's uh, here. So that's all uh, for now. Have you enjoyed? Have you find it really interesting this Quarkus project. Remember that Quarkus is in uh, Quarkus.io site and um, if you enjoy it just thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to record more and more videos about Quarkus and if you want also you can follow me on Twitter. Enjoy and bye bye!